<laughs> What's up guys, it's Pierre here from Gdansk In Your Pocket and today we are in Sopot which is a lovely resort city between Gdansk and Gdynia. For those of you who don't know, this is the Grand Spa, which has been redeveloped a few times, but uh, was first developed in the early 19th century. And just there, we have the old lighthouse, which is actually a chimney for one of the spa houses, but they turned it into a lighthouse because, uh, well, a chimney looked rather ugly. Anyways, we're actually headed down that direction a little further south of here and we'll be at our destination very very shortly today's foodie friday recommendation comes from Juan paulo lopez and paulo has recommended phuket thai food and bar uh, he's recommended specifically the uh, khao pad but for the sake of diversity i'm going to look at what else is on the menu and give something different a shot all right so first things first i'm going to take this off only because it's hurting my ears because I've been wearing it all bloody day. I found a nice little spot relatively concealed from the wind. So first up, I ordered a padki mao with chicken and with rice noodles. Now for some reason, you've got to get them separate. I don't understand why because I'm used to getting a padki mao which is basically a spicy pad thai as the one thing. It's not, not the end of the world but I was just expecting it to be one thing. Anyway. Before we get into that though, I'm going to start with my saigonki. My saigonki comes with a sauce there on top. I've got a sweet chili sauce here. Usually they make like a very specific kind of vinaigrette sweet chili sauce, but this looks like it's some kind of standard sweet chili sauce from the bottle. But you know, it's all good. Now this has only been waiting like five minutes. So as you can hear, it's nice and crunchy. Smachnago. Mmm. Can you see that? It's got corn in it. I don't think I've ever had Saigonki with corn in it, but that's interesting. That's good. Yum. It's got a nice sweet corny taste actually in the middle, which is different. I'm not used to it being so sweet actually but I'm I'm fine with that it's a good change and it's still fresh I'll save the third saigonki for later back in the box it goes now I'm not sure exactly how we're gonna do this one but um, somehow I'm gonna have to mix my noodles with my padki mao padki mao unveiling mm, lovely the question will be, of course, is how spicy it is and how tasty it is. Part two of this will be me having to mix the noodles by myself. Here we go. Navinos DIY. Noodles in the Padki Mao. Somehow, I don't know. Now I'm gonna have to work out a way to mix it up. I might have put a little bit too much on here. So let me just start smaller, actually. cut way back on this bloody these noodles so obviously if we were eating at home as opposed to out in public this would be easier to be fair but you know like I said if you're um, if you're a cereal Thai eater like me you'd be used to actually eating the whole thing together but uh, well, we'll see Dobra. okay I've got some corn I've got some chicken and I got some capsicum okay so much nego Slightly sweetened soy. It's a little bit spicy. It's not that spicy, to be honest. I'm looking for the chili, but I can't find the chili. Okay, after two mouthfuls of this, yes, I'm feeling, I'm feeling the spice now. I found some chili. Looks like a dried chili. I don't know if it's because this is separate, right? the actual sauce and meat and veg separate from the noodles but I'm used to a padki mao uh, any kind of rice noodle dish Thai rice noodle dish being a little bit more co you know together this is very separate it just feels like a standard stir fry 
It also doesn't, describing like a kind of a Pad Ki Mao, Pad Thai sauce, yes, it is a sweet and savory thing, but it's, it's a little bit more mm, uh, granular. I don't know, like the spices are just different. This just tastes like a kind of a slightly sweetened soy stir fry, honestly. So, mm. the last thing I'm gonna say just about this is every time you get one of these plastic containers with, um, you know, the film on top that has to be peeled, you can't reseal it. So if I wanna take this home and eat it later, I can't. So I have to eat the whole thing right now out here in the cold. Boohoo. So guys, uh, I'm back in Gdynia in my apartment where it's nice and warm so I can uh, give you my final thoughts on Phuket, Thai food and bar. Um, but before I go any further, I just want to clarify uh, what a Pad Ki Mao is. Uh, Pad Ki Mao is a rice noodle stir fry uh, and it is described as being spicy and savory with a slightly sweetened sauce. Now this differs greatly from a Pad Thai which is nutty and sweet. Now, in Australia, when we have Thai food, when we have Pad Ki Mao specifically from a Thai restaurant in, in Australia, I think a lot of people, including myself, uh, confuse that dish uh, with being a Pad Thai except having extra chili. Um, so now, now that I've clarified what a Pad Ki Mao is supposed to be more or less. I believe that today I had a very good example of that. Um, and so without any further ado, I'm going to now continue with the rating of this restaurant. So let's talk about the looks, aka presentation. The first thing I wanna say is that the staff that I dealt with today at Phuket were really nice people. Um, so obviously that's the first port of call whenever you're going to um, dine at a restaurant. Um, presentation overall, I was quite happy with. Um, the only exception being maybe the fact that they chucked in the sweet chili sauce uh, in the Saigonki box. Um, so on that, I'm gonna give them four and a half for, uh, for looks. Uh, next, we have build. Build, uh, I don't have any complaints, um, so I'm gonna give them a five for the build. Um, the packaging is my biggest criticism simply because it's plastic, with the exception of the actual bag that it came in. So for package, I'm gonna give them a two. Um, now taste, like I clarified with earlier, um, I think it was a very good example of what a Pad Ki Mao is supposed to be. Um, the only thing uh, that confused me was the fact that the noodles came separate, but you know, who's to say what the, how it really is supposed to be. Uh, and those saigonki, aka spring rolls, uh, the vegetarian saigonki were amazing. A big fan. Um, I'm gonna give the taste a four. It cost 43 zwatis and 20 grosha. I think that that is extremely good value for what I got. So for this reason, I'm going to give Phuket Thai food and bar four and a half stars uh, value. So guys, where would you like me to go next? Please leave your comments below. In the meantime, yes, you can check out all of our great content on Gdańsk and the Tri-City at uh, facebook.com slash Gdańsk in your pocket. And we are also on Instagram where you can view all the pretty pictures that we uh, are chucking up there uh, at Gdańsk in your pocket. And in the meantime, until next Foodie Friday, I hope you have a good week.